Bronson 6-speed model is using the combination of the BWR 3-speed hub with the two sprockets to provide the six different gears. Bronson has introduced the BWR hub in 2009. The BWR is a planetary gear hub. At high gear, the sprocket you are paddling on is connected to the planetary gear cage, shown here as green. While the wheel is connected to the gear ring, shown as purple here, your wheel will turn faster than the sprocket. At mid-gear, both the sprocket and wheel are connected to the gear ring. They turn at the same speed. At low gear, the sprocket is connected to the gear ring and the wheel is connected to the planetary cage. Your wheel will turn slower than the sprocket. Let us look at the parts of the hub. The hub shell is the outer layer of the hub. It serves as the base for the wheel spokes. There are ratchets inside at the base of the hub shell. The ball ring screws directly onto the hub shell, so there are ratchets inside the ball ring. So the two are permanently linked and always move at the same speed. The driver is where the sprockets are seated. The internal spline is engaged with the sliding clutch. A pair of pawls are engaged with the gearing. The pawls can be closed by the actuator plate. Inside the gearing, near the bottom, there are gear teeth that always engage the planetary gear cage. The gearing has a pair of pawls that will engage the ball ring's ratchet. Inside and near the top, there are splines to engage the drive pawls. The clutch can slide along the axle by the pulling action of the indicator link and push action by the spring. The spline of the clutch is engaged with the driver at all positions. At the bottom of the clutch, there are four catches to engage the protrusions on the top of the planetary gear cage. This assembly includes the axle, the sun gear, and the four planetary gears. The four gears engage the gear ring with the teeth at the bottom. The pair of poles will engage the hub shell. Let's see how these parts work together. At mid-gear, the clutch is in the middle position. The driver links to the gear ring. The gear ring links to the ball ring. The ball ring is on the hub shell that is part of the wheel. Each turn of the driver corresponds to one turn of the wheel. At low gear, the indicator chain pulls the clutch to the right, which pushes the gear ring pulse inward and disengages the ball ring. The driver links to the gear ring. The gear ring links to the planetary gear cage, which links to the hub shell that is part of the wheel. Each turn of the driver corresponds to 0.638 turns of the wheel. At high gear, the spring pushes the clutch to the left, which then engages the planetary gear cage. The driver links to the clutch. The clutch links to the planetary gear cage. The planetary gear cage links to the gear ring. The gear ring links to the ball ring. The ball ring is on the hub shell, which is part of the wheel. Each turn of the driver corresponds to 1.57 turns of the wheel. There is an actuator plate on the driver assembly. Let's see why it is there and how it works. There are three sets of ratchets in the hub. One is on the driver assembly, one is on the gear ring, and one is on the planet gear assembly. On different gears, the parts in the hub will move differently. Furthermore, we can pedal, backpedal, or be idle. Could any of these operations cause any deadlocks? All operations are actually unaffected except backpedaling on high gear. At high gear, the driver directly links to the planet gear assembly. That turns the gearing 157% faster than the driver itself. That is okay for forward direction, but in backpedaling, the motion is in reverse, and this will cause a deadlock on the driver's ratchet. That is why we need the actuator plate here. The actuator will push the driver's pulse down during a reverse motion to allow backpedaling at high gear. This explains why the hub can work perfectly fine without the actuator plate, but you can't do backpedaling at high gear. This concludes how our Brompton BWR works. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.